Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome back and welcome to my new subscribers. Uh, yeah, I'm here with my Alice in Wonderland junk journal again and this is going to be the last decorating episode because it really could go on forever, couldn't it? So I've gone ahead and prepared some stuff slightly for these pages we're doing today. Right, we've completely finished the first and second signature barring a few ribbons and tags. The final signature is done, so we're doing the centre and the next one. Right, this page here in the centre signature, I've decided I'm going to pop a side tuck. And I've found a love heart doily. Ooh, just found a little bit that needs popping out of that. I've used a die to cut a love heart out of some of the Dovecraft papers. And it just happens to be the type of love art that fits. I would have liked a bigger one with more edge, but that was the biggest one I had. And I've used a smaller love art die just to cut a little red love art out for the middle. Yeah, so I'll show you how I make this. Pop the journal to one side. It's not rocket science. <laughs> I just basically fold this over in half. Yeah, I normally do these with circles. I think it's the first time I've tried it with a Love Art one. So that's a bit, something a little bit different. I'm going to do the same with Doily. I like to do them separately because I just think they, they fit together better. I want to get the point of the Doily and the centre of the top. Then I'll come in and do that. Did I get that right? Yeah. That's looking good. Then I'm going to come in, pop them together, see how they look. Oh yeah, that's fine. And I'll do a bit of gluing. I like to do one side at a time because we want this to go on the page like so. So we've got half a love art and we don't want any creases or anything when we fold it. It's going to stay folded. So I'm going to glue it folded if that makes any sense whatsoever. So I'm going to come in, bob, glue around. Do, 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 do. <laughs> we need sound effects to bob glue, don't we? Oh, I'm pleased to report the cat's had a lovely birthday. <laughs> She's slept through most of it. As cats do. I'm sure she spends 22 hours a day sleeping. She's an old girl. Yeah, I need to get this journal done and dusted now. So, I can't possibly film everything I've done in it today. I've filmed lots. I don't think I've missed out any of the important stuff. The only other video you'll see on Alice after this will be a flip through when I list it. It's going to slide it up a smidgen. I don't want to slide up a smidgen. Nearly broke it. Let's leave it there. It's good enough. So apply the glue again. They're a bit delicate, these doilies. And I think I'm already deciding I might want to, rather than put a folded love heart across, I might want to put a separate love heart on each side. I don't know, I'll see how it looks before I glue that down. So that's that. You can see where the glue is for now. As that dries, it does go clear. So don't worry about that. I'm wondering if. I don't know. You know. I want a full love heart or a heart. I think I need a half one. I really do. I've thought of a good idea for another journal, but not this one. You could do that and then the leave the love heart full and it would make a lovely side tab, wouldn't it? I think it would. So let's fold this love heart and get this one stuck on as well. There we go. I'm just going to apply glue all over this and then pinch it onto the side. 
So the black page is on the centre signature. I'm not going to town decorating them. The journal is getting very chunky. I keep saying oh, I don't like to make alligator mouth journals. And it didn't really need the closure. I think it's going to really need the closure. <laughs> it's time I've done. So there we have it. Three layers of love art. And I'm going to pop that onto the journal. Centre signature, where are you? Here you are. No, you're not. Oh, kiss upside down, silly woman. Pop it the right way up. There we go. Where are you? There you are. So that's just going to pop on there like that. And we can tuck anything we want under it. So I'm not going to open that up fully before I clip it on. I'm just going to hold it and I'm going to put glue down the crease. Not right to the top because it might squidge a bit. And a little line just along the side about an eighth of an inch from the centre. Then I'm going to pop it on. I could do a couple of my little clips to hold that. Or maybe just one big bulldog clip would hold it. Have I got one to hand? I had them all over my desk and I've just tidied up a little bit. Ready to film video like you do. I'm concerned that clipping it might mark it. Oh, here's an idea. I'm going to grab a piece of card. Just a piece of card I'm not going to use. Fold it over. I'm going to put that over and then put the clip on. And that will just ensure that I don't mark it. Yeah. So I'll just pop that clip on like that just for a couple of minutes because art glitter does dry pretty quick. And while that dries, we'll turn over and I'll move on to this signature. Right, this one, I'm just going to pop a belly band across there. I've got some of the diamond paper. Let's just curl that a little bit. Then we can pop one of the pieces from the cutter parts from the kit on it. Yeah, there's definitely not going to be any room to add anything else to this journal unless you take some of the things out that I've put in. <laughs> but, like I said, that's the beauty of it, you can. Right, I'm going to use my uh, tea ruler for this. I don't want to muck this up and get it. I can even get my tea ruler in. I can't get my tea ruler in. So I'm just going to have to... I'm going to eyeball it and be really good. Yeah, I'm really good at eyeballing, she says. I'm just going to turn it sideways to have a look, see. Oh, we just need to touch that a little bit. There we go, now I'm happy with it. Just get that little bit of glue there. I don't like any glue poking out because when it dries, it dries shiny. So I like to get rid of it. You do it straight away you can do it without leaving a mark you be quite careful with black card and paper for that right so that's that yeah happy with that and into my box of goodies for something to pop on it i did tidy box of goodies up <laughs> see it was spread out all over my desk oh that's a pocket i want for the next signature yeah so <laughs> one of those I think I'm going to use the red one I will get another one out in case I decide I don't like that one and I want something different where are they all here we go there's a black one and there's oh that smaller red one's attached so let's see if we want red or black I think it needs to be red otherwise it's too black does that make any sense whatsoever I think it does yeah so I'm just going to pop that on there I'm going to leave it open in the middle so you could pop something in the middle should you require. So I'm just going to glue it on these two edges. There we go. 
again I'm just going to tilt this to make sure I'm getting it straight there we go I'm happy with that so again not a fancy page but a really good tuck spot under that belly band so that's that one i'm now going to come in and take that off i think i think it's had long enough to dry yep yeah, that's nice and straight and neat so we've got a lovely tuck spot there and there so not yeah not a lot to do in this middle signature right i decided i want to put a sideways belly band on this one and I want to use one of these bookmarks for it. I don't know whether I want to use the king or that plain one. I think I might want to use the king. So I'm just going to back the king onto some card. I've just had a feeling the piece of card I cut, I've just folded it over to hold that. Uh, I have. I've just cut that piece of card for the belly band. Then I've folded it over to hold the glumping clip. What a numpty. Yeah, that's what that's going to be. So, I'll mark that again and just cut it down. Yeah, you know them things I did to save some time? Yeah, I undid them. We'll grab the big chopper. The pages are... Are they 8 inch height pages? I can't remember. No, they're 8 and a quarter. 8 and a quarter. Good job I didn't cut it to 8. So I'm slightly off camera for this because I'm not I'm not moving journal once again. I can't believe I used that piece of card that I'd already got cut. That's uh, yeah. So even when I do plan ahead, I then sabotage it. What am I like? I'm going to cut it slightly shorter than the eight and a quarter. And then I'm going to cut this down to the right width that I decided on. Right. put your big chopper away now woman get your little one out that you prefer i think i might start i might cultivate my use of the craft knife and ruler might start using that more instead of having to get that big thing out it can be a bit annoying right that's that <coughs> How have I made it wrong length? How did I do that? What? What? I'm so not even going to the big chopper again. I'm just going to eyeball cutting that off. Smidgen more. I was watching someone the other day who comes in all the time and she's got a cutter. She uses it in midair above her. And I thought, wow, I'm going to have to practice doing that. Right, there we go. And the king is going to go on top. We might even finish him off with a couple of love hearts because I did go cutting some more of those checkered ones out. I think that might look good up there. Yeah, I do. So, let's glue this. That's enough. We're eyeballing again. I tend to like to put my belly band slightly nearer the outer edge than the centre of the journal rather than the middle of the page. Just, I don't know, I just like it that way. Right, I'm going to turn this sideways again just to see whether I've got it as straight as I would like. Yep. Happy bunny. I'll leave it sideways to put the king on. Are we in shot? Yeah, we are. Let's pop the king on. Again, I'm going to glue the king at the bottom and the top because then it's like a double belly band. You can pop something underneath the back bit and the top bit. 
I've glued more than just the very edge though on this. So let's line him up. And I'm going to leave more room at the top because I'm going to put that love heart on. I could have left less room, but I've done it now, haven't I? That bit of glue. Oh, that looks good. Oh, hang on. We've got the red love art. I don't know if I like the red one better than the black. Or do I like both? Let's turn it sideways. I can't decide that when it's sideways. Pick them up, woman. Pick them up. Do I like that? And then that. I think I do, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'll glue the little love art to the bigger one first. Yep. And I'm just going to ink the edge of this big one just to give it a little bit of definition because it's going on to two different colours. Like that makes a difference, but in my head it does. Yeah, it just stands out a little bit better now on that red, like it already does on the black. And it matches the little love heart on the king's scepter. Yeah, that fills up the space much better, that, doesn't it? Just tilt to see if it's straight enough. Yeah. I'm going to like living with that. Yes, I can live with that. There we go. So we've now got a double belly band there. So, belly band city, that one, isn't it? Right. We've got another glassine bag. I'm not even sure I'm going to bother decorating that. I will just pop something in. Uh, I've been forgetting to use any playing cards, so I'll pop some of those throughout. I think he's a bit small to fit in there. We need one of the bigger journal cards, don't we, for that? Let's have a look see what's going to fit. We've got these where we can cut a little bit off top should we need to. And I think that might be what I'm going to do with that. If I can't find a smaller one. Yeah, I would have liked a little bit more variety in sizes of journal cards, I think, in this kit. They're all, yeah, a couple of standard sizes. So. <clears throat> oh, cat's here, meowing. Happy birthday, Phoebe. I'm just going to cut a little bit off the top and a little bit off the bottom evenly. You'll never know that happened. I know I'm slightly off camera, but you know what's occurring. There we go. And that now should fit in absolutely perfectly, and it does. Yay. I'm happy with that. So, we've got the red one. That's going to have another one of the tags clipped to it when I've filled it with little bits of ephemera. Journal in space. Uh, yeah, more ephemera going back in there. We've got that giant journaling card there. So that's centre signature done. Cooking with gas. Right, we've, I don't know what I'm going to put in or on that one yet. That's to be decided. Oh, I don't know if I showed you doing this. Yeah postcard it just fitted absolutely lovely in there with the postcard showing through the window but I need I need a tab on the top and I'm going to use one of the ones that I cut the ones that look like yeah the bulldog clip tabs I think I need a bigger one than that let's grab a bigger one I'm trying to be very very tidy with these it's not really working I sort them out and then I start fishing and then it's like, yeah, they're all a mess again, aren't they, Julie? 
let's get all the tabs out because i'm going to be looking for a few tabs while doing this i did cut some out in the larger size in plain black what have i done with those oh yeah they're in a different tub here we go yeah all the plain die cuts were in here oh i've got a round one oh i like the round one i forgot i've done round ones but that's the one i was looking for found it now we've got a smaller one so let's decide do we want to put the round one or the tag one on so it's in i don't know if i like the plain black so i don't like that either I think it's going to have to be plain black, isn't it? I don't have any other colours. Now, I'm going to leave it. You know what I'm doing with it now. And I'm going to pop it on later. Yeah? This, I want to put some of these Love Arts on that I've cut out. I've done some in black. I've done some in red. With the Love Arts on. And we've got some of those. I just did a load of random love arts. I just think they look good on these corners. A bit plain that, isn't it? I think I need something more on that envelope. What have we got? I'm slowing down now because I cooked with gas on that first signature. Can you tell? I don't think there's a lot of those in kit, isn't there? But how many of those can you use? Got loads of cards. But we've got a few places where I need to go back and put cards, haven't we? But I do, yeah, I think some of the little cards might look really cute along the bottom there. Yeah, definitely. So we've got a couple of red and a black one. Do you know what? They seem to have to go in odd numbers, these cards. I don't know why they just do. Yeah, I've, I know I've done this a couple of places in journal, but I seem to like it. I've actually got my pencil now to do the pencil trick, where to put the glue. I can see it. And that's that one. Yeah, I like that. Again, I'm going to put it as a tuck spot that can be a tuck spot or not necessarily. All depends how you want to use it. I'm not even going to glue the sides. I'm just going to glue across the bottom. There we go. I always put plenty on when it's going to be a tuck spot because I don't want it falling off. There we go. And I just spotted in the bottom when I was looking for playing cards that I did have one of the tabs in the red love hearts. And I think that's the one I want to use. And I think because the postcard is quite grungy, I'm going to come in oops, and just ink the edge of this. Put that away, woman, because your desk's getting completely covered in stuff again. And you're going to... I don't know why my mouse is here. Go away, mouse. I'm useless, me with cordless things. I lose them all the time. Do you remember those? They must have been 90s they came out. All the rage. You could get them down market everywhere. <laughs> those little key fobs uh, that you put on your car keys. That would... Uh, did you whistle? I think the first ones that came out, you whistled to find your car keys. I need one of those on everything I own. I need one on my glasses. 
I need one on my phone. I'm really good at losing my phone when it's not even switched on or ring has switched off. Because I'll switch the ringer off to film a video and then I'll lose the phone. I'm sure Google's got this thing where you can find your phone, haven't it? I need to look into that. Because I'm terrible for it. Whenever I'm upstairs and I shout kids, they always know I need something bringing that I forgot to bring up. It's quite sad really that they know me so well. <laughs> right, so, so it's double sided that you can journal on that side. I want to put it in back to front because I like how the postcard shows through the window. I mean, it's not back to front when it's that way, is it? Yeah. So let's pop you in. Yeah, I quite like that. That's cute. Now, what are we doing on the back? Do you know what? I don't think I'm going to do anything on the back. I'm going to leave the back for journaling. Yeah. So I think we've got one more black page to do. Oh, we did that. Well, I did that and I haven't put anything on front. That needs something on the front to liven it up a little bit. Yeah, we're running out of some things. It's like, yeah. Another reason I don't tend to decorate my journal in order, I don't start at front and go to back, I move all over a bit here, a bit there. Because you do, you get to this point in a journal where you've used all your favourite things and you're left with certain things to finish off the decorating, like we're left with loads of playing cards. So I don't want all those playing cards in one place together. By jumping about in the journal, we've now got playing cards all over. Yeah, I could even have back of a playing card there, just for a change. But I think that needs to be a black playing card that's not jumping out of me. Or oh, a playing card with more on it. Yeah. Look at that. I'm not even going for three. I'm going to stick at that too. And I'm going to pop that on. I am. I'll just ink around the edge of this one as well. Where's my daub gone? It needs one of them things on where you whistle and it appears. Here we go. Yeah, oh, didn't we have some mad electronic stuff in 80s though? We're 80s. I'm talking 80s. Or am I talking? Yeah, I'm talking 80s, early 90s. Oh, every, digital watches. Do you remember digital watches with like big chunky thing and then you got like got my digital watch, it's got a calculator on. Ooh. I'm talking before mobile phones here. Oh, first mobile phones weren't they funny? Anybody watches only fools and horses? That's a UK TV programme. If you're in the US you need to watch it. You've got to watch it. It's the funniest thing ever. It's these two uh, brothers from Peckham in London, the market traders and all round. <laughs> well, not dodgy dealers, but yeah, they pull off some scams. Light-hearted scams, I might say. And I forgot what I want about. <laughs> Only fools and horses. Yes. Uh, yeah, and... They're called Rodney and Del Boy, these brothers, and oh, Del Boy, when he had his first mobile phone, it was so funny. It was huge, it was like a brick. Yeah, hilarious. I used to remember I worked for, yeah, the place I worked in the 80s. I worked for two partners who had a oh, yeah yeah they might, I might as well have called them Del and Rodney to be quite honest yeah oh dear and they had car phones this was before mobile phones and car phones oh wow were they big and chunky it was like bringing a car battery in when they needed to bring them in out at car because I suppose it won't batch I don't know I really don't know I don't I'm not up on that kind of technology but yeah they apparently liked it they thought they were cool 
Well, I won't actually say what they really looked like. I'm just rounding corners off on that journal card. I forgot to do it. And I wouldn't like to forget. I love this tiny corner chomp on this punch. It annoys me sometimes if you don't line it up. I've not put it on my Amazon storefront for that reason. Because I'm not, I haven't decided if I like it yet. I might like it, I might not. I do, I love it. But then it's annoying at times. Right, so that's that. That needs something with a face, doesn't it? <laughs> there we go. Pop the king in as well. Let's finish that page off. All it needed was a face. Right, I've got a couple of... I thought I'd put some things in here to decorate. Yes, yes. If you saw the Alice page I did in the last video where we had Alice and a tag and then the word Alice at the top. Well, I'm going to do a very similar thing with the rabbit, that label and the oh my ears and whiskers, how late it's getting. Right, I did also... I made some ribbon. Woohoo! I just sewed some... I didn't sew it, I glued it. I glued some red ribbon with little white dots to some black ribbon. And I was thinking to put some there under the writing. And now I don't... Now I've seen it, I don't like it. I haven't even decided if any of this is going in. You know, with it being so thick already. I don't know. I really don't know. I also made a couple of ruffles. Yeah, we did a little. But again, I don't I don't think I like the look of the ruffles. I did a thin one and a thick, thicker one. I don't think this is the style of journal. They might get saved from my next Alice journal. So yeah, that all pointless what I just showed you there, wasn't it? I'm just going to put the word on. Word. Yeah, that's going to go there at the top. And I'm going to do it now before I change my mind. I talk myself out of it. Do you know I don't think I've fed my kids today. <laughs> oh dear. We're having a scrounging Sunday. I normally have my shopping delivered on a Sunday. But we've gone for Tuesday this week. I didn't need everything and I cooked from yesterday we did the toad toads on blankets as I went on about yeah toad in the hole it should have been so today it's been a scrounge we all had something completely different for lunch what did Rachel have oh Rachel went for a air fried chips and sausage roll nice one Rachel. Rebecca cooked herself some noodles with peppers and mushrooms and spring onions. Oh, yeah. Crack on Becca. Little Miss Gourmet there. And I had <laughs> pot of meat. Pot of meat. Oh I loved it. I've not had pot of meat for absolutely years. And then a friend mentioned she were eating lots of pot of meat sandwiches. And I thought, ooh, I could do a pot of meat sandwich. Right, on the rabbit, what I tend to do is, if I think about the rabbit, it's going to go that way. I'm going to put glue right up to where that ruler comes. So, ooh, <laughs> to show you how we decide where to put the glue, yeah. I'm going to go a little bit further in on his bum, a little bit there, we've got that covered, and there. Yeah, and his ears. I've put some on his feet because I don't want things going down lower than his feet and his feet dropping off. That would be terrible for poor rabbit, wouldn't it? And I'm doing the same, I can't decide whether to put a label under his feet or over his feet. I think I might put it a little bit further up on this one. I've totally squidged that glue. I think that one's going to require some kitchen roll. Definitely. Put far too much on that. But we've got it off. Yay. Sorted. So that's Mr Rabbit. We're definitely putting that over his feet. 
yeah that's going over his feet and I'm just gonna I'll put a bit of glue there and I'm gonna put glue we've glued his feet so nothing's going down lower than his feet so I'll put glue all the way along there I've not put any on that side so that's gonna line up with his feet and then that's gonna be another tuck spot Again, I'm not going to tuck anything now until it dries, but I think that's going to be about right size for a playing card. Yeah, not that one though. We'll have one that is in keeping with the rabbit. I think we'll have Alice. He's telling Alice he's going to be late. Let's find a nice Alice one. Oh, she's welding a bottle there. Oh, a cake there. She gets up to some stuff, does our Alice? Oh, there we go. I think we just want the plain old... Alice is looking and paying attention. Yeah. Yeah, she looks like she's listening to the rabbit there. She, I know she looks like she's already shrunk and she's a lot smaller than the rabbit, but we can live with that. There we go. Well, that's another page done and dusted. I'm not going to leave that in in case it ends up getting glued there. Right, our last blank black page. Right, what I've got for this one is... We need another doily in our lives, so I've grabbed another doily. And you know that Alice looking behind... Oh, 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 we've not used Cheshire Cat. Oh, no. Do you know what, then? I don't think I'm going to put Alice... Oh, we've got another page there. Whew, I'll get in, really. Oh, what are we going to do there? So, I'll tell you what, because I've got that pocket there in that signature front of the signature i'm going to put this pocket here at the back of the signature and it looks like a feature of the signature doesn't it a couple of these pockets so yeah cheshire cat i think that was my plan but i'd forgot it was my plan if you know what i mean yeah i need to come up with some strategies to remember things this memory thing is beyond a joke now I click on a message to answer it on either Etsy or YouTube and then the little box that pops up to answer the message covers up the original message and sometimes by the time I've just clicked reply I've totally forgot who I'm answering and what they said and it's like whoa is that because I'm not actually taking it in as I read it I really don't know I think that's because I used to take things in so quickly I'm not adjusting to not taking them in very quickly and if this is ageing I'm not keen right I'm just going to keep pressing that down that doesn't need out on it does it because we've got the Cheshire Cat Cheshire Cat oh Cheshire Cheese I love Cheshire Cheese <laughs> Not that that's got anything to do with Cheshire cats. Just made me think I've not had Cheshire cheese for a long time. It's very crumbly. I'm just making sure it doesn't bend the page back as I'm gluing it. Right, that's that. So we're going to flip back here now. That's why. I'd run out of pages because I've totally forgot to do it back of that one. Right, here we go. So I've decided we need another doily in our lives. So that's the doily. We've got the Alice looking behind the curtain. I'm determined to use that piece with Alice looking behind the curtain. So now this, this is really the last page we're going to decorate together. So I can just crack on till I've got this done really want to do this the thing that's annoying me is the fact that had I been doing this again I perhaps would not have cut out the background like I did I would have cut around it just to make a pocket but I did cut out the background but the other thing I've got here that I want to incorporate is we've got that die cut piece of the lock and a key so I want a key on that page somewhere 
and I'm now hoping I've not lost that lock die cut as I've been rummaging because when I switched video and I did have it in mind to put the lock to one side when I came across it but did that happen no that did not happen why on earth would that happen because that would have required me remembering it for three seconds flat so oh, tell me I'm not going to ruin my last page it's not ruined is it I'm being very dramatic there aren't I over dramatic because I can't find the lock cut out that's just that's terrible I found another doily we don't need a doily Ooh, we've got another rabbit a smaller rabbit he can go in another journal he can oh where's the lock I know we've got one of the chipboard locks but that's I don't have the lock I'm maybe gonna have to rethink this now because I've lost the lock I've got so many other bits now on my desk because I've not had a proper tidy up for two days I've been two days solid working on this journal to get it done and dusted and yeah so I'm itching to move on to new projects I've got so many things I want to make so I'm just gonna look I'm just gonna pause two seconds and find this lock found the lock we'll give you three guesses where it was yeah on the floor you needed one didn't you silly woman right so yeah i've got this idea that alice is going to sit on a doily peeping behind the curtain we've got to get the curtain straight yeah and i think i'm going to do it on some kind of big pocket yeah move those out of where you don't need them we're going to have the lock there yeah that's what she's peeping at and the key i don't know you know am i gonna have to abandon using this piece altogether because i can't make my mind up how to use it and i don't like all these fiddler bits and i think they might get damaged i really don't know i even thought of popping her on this yeah but it's not quite wide enough to accommodate me doily and I really want that doily on <laughs> oh that looks like two big eyes looking at us doesn't it I don't know what I'm going to do with it I cut hearts out as well to try her on love art see what she looked like I didn't like her on that I cut some back circles out I didn't like her on that do you know what Alice I think you may make a lovely cover on another journal Alice and the key are going to be relegated to the box and they're going to go on a different journal I'm sorry but they are and on this page instead I think we're going to just pop a little collage with some journal cards yeah I think that's what we're going to have to do sorry alice Ooh, what about this alice could have that alice do you know one thing i never ever i never got around to using the paper cheshire cat don't tell me i've lost the cheshire cat now no i did a paper clip of the cheshire cat so i'm thinking if we put alice there and have the paper clip of the cheshire cat up there holding something that might look good so i'm just grabbing the cheshire cat paper clip here he is oh he fits on sideways i made him to fit on sideways so that may have been a fabulous idea to go on the other side of the page you know the page where i've just done the rabbit i'm running out of pages now to put this on that's quite gutting that i can't do what i wanted there did we, did we, yeah we did the back pages yeah oh we did that one didn't we i really liked that one uh, yeah so we can't do it there i think where's it gone i've lost the page so we've got one page left so i've just whizzed through all of those i've got to the last page and i don't know what to do 
I don't want to repeat that page and do what we did on the other one. So do you know what? I'm going to leave that last page as a surprise for you because, yeah, I'm clueless. Really don't know what I want to put on it. So let's have a look how chunky this journal's got. I stopped clipping things in because of how chunky it's got. Let's hold it up. Wowzer. Look at that. Really does need... It really does need its closure now, doesn't it? So, what's going to happen next is I'm going to put the inside front covers on that I showed you how to make. I'm just going to glue them on with art glitter and kalal in the middle. Quite simple. You don't need to see it. I'm going to do exactly the same with the front panel. And I will be back one more time. You will then see... Yeah, I will have decided which tags I'm going to pop ribbon on and which ones I'm not. We've got a few of the handmade tags left that I made before to find places for. But I'm sure, well, there are lots of places in this journal that mean that. Oh, yeah. I mean, we did put something else in there. I could maybe change my mind. I don't know. I might, I might do. I could do. I was going to make some of those acetate tags, but there just isn't room anymore in the journal. So that's not going to happen. Yeah, that was another chunky page. We've got quite a lot of chunky pages going off. Yeah, I did find my baker's twine in black and white. I'm going to use that on my envelopes that I used, my policy envelopes. So... I think now, Alice, you have got enough decoration in you. Yep. I'm glad I went for the decorated papers for these pockets. Then I don't need to add any more bulk. We did manage to get a wax sealing. Oh, I did pop another. Look at that I made. Yeah, I popped a wax seal on a paper clip. So if worse comes to worse, that page will just be decorated with a wax seal paper clip and... Yeah, a journal card in it. Well, I do, I do. I feel I need to do something fancier than a wax seal paper clip and a journal card for that. Yeah, but for now, that's what it's got. So, thank you very much for joining me for all these videos. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I know I've had one or two people mention that they're also making Alice in Wonderland journals. So, I really hope it's given you some ideas on what to do in yours. And I had quite a good, some good feedback from the closure. Well, yeah, I think we might be altering this closure to make it bigger sooner than I thought. Let's just pop it on and see how it looks now. The journal has got more stuff in. Oh, yes, I like that. Oh, I like that. Look at it. Yeah, and it does. Yeah. <laughs> Before I filled it, that was just dangling on the table. Now it actually looks like we need to have it there. So, yeah, thank you for joining me and I will see you with a flip through of this over the next couple of days. So thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye.